Yo, what's up guys? Um, so yeah, I just saw, I believe it's the fourth episode of Gotham. If not, uh, please, I be it's either the third or the fourth, I believe it's the fourth. Yeah, it's the fourth episode. So, Arkham is this episode, and it mainly focuses on Arkham City, that whole pretty much district. And I really like this episode, this is my favorite episode by far. Even though I did not like how it ended, kind of. Because, um, A, it shows that, um, the, that Gotham is very much controlled by these mob bosses. And that, um, uh, like, the mayor, he got, he got, oh, sp sorry, spoiler alerts, guys. Very big spoilers here. I'm going through the whole episode in detail. So, uh... Yeah, so, so back about the mayor, um, he, um, he is corrupted by the mob boss. He can't, he does not want to die, so he compromises with them. And I feel like that is kind of, um, in a grayish area. Like, he does not, you know, he, he doesn't want to do the bad stuff, but he can do some good stuff along with it and kind of, do something what the Waynes wanted to do, and then some stuff that they didn't want to do. And then that the Arkham Asylum is now reopened and will be reopened for criminally insane people. And then Moroni gets his waste area, and then Falcone gets expenses from the housing he's putting up. So it shows that Gotham is very much corrupted, and even though we all knew that already, it shuts, uh, it sets up a really big area for where Batman and Jim Gordon have to clean up the streets and everything. Because that'll be really, really interesting if that happens in the show, when Batman finally comes on and works with Jim Gordon. Something I was very sad, didn't I, I was disappointed about the episode was um, when, uh, um, um, when Barbara Gordon and Jim Gordon just split paths, you know? They, she just couldn't handle him keeping secrets from her. And she left... And I felt like, ah, oh, really? Did she have to go? Because it's just like, I don't, I don't like Fish Mooney as a female. I just, I think Fish Mooney's okay, but I like Barbara Gordon as the female character much better. Because I like Barbara Gordon. She's, you know, I just like her. And it brings something to, for Gordon to like, vent to about his problems and everything. Because he can't do that to Harvey or any of them. Because you know, he just can't do any of that. But he didn't do it anyways. So. Yeah, um, I like this episode a lot. No more spoilers, guys. No more spoilers for now. Um, I really liked this episode a lot. It was really well directed. I really liked the whole guy hunting him down because I felt like this is the guy that would have murdered the Waynes, but then he's black, and then the guy who murdered the Waynes is white, so that wouldn't really work. But I did like that sort of effect that um, only these big mob bosses only hire people that can get the job done. And I really like that sort of thing. And I want villains to be more like that on the show because it, it'll bring a lot more suspense. And it was very suspenseful. In my opinion, this episode was very suspenseful. And it was just pretty cool. I love this episode a lot. And so, yeah. Um, now, spoilers again. But from now, I'm going to say I really like this episode. Five out of five. I'm um, not going to do any Gotham Police... Uh, 5 out of 5 Gotham Police... GD, GCDPD Police Badges. Out of 5. I really liked how this episode did. It had a lot of good... It had a great story. And I just loved how everything kind of turned. Okay. Spoilers here. I The one thing I did not like was... The whole Fish Mooney thing. I did not really care for that. That whole separate thing, because I just don't like Fish Mooney. But, um, I did like the part that she's getting someone to replace her, to become, so, and she wants to become the biggest mob boss. And then she's getting someone to, you know, show the ropes around. And I did like that. And then, that scene where, um, she had two people, um, that had to fight to get the job, reminded me so much of The Dark Knight, where Joker had pitted those three guys against each other of, I don't remember, who was the guy, of, 
I'm trying to remember the guy's name. I just, oh, I'm drawing a blank here. Oh, God, that's going to bother me all day. If you guys do know who I'm talking about, please drop it in the comment section below. And, but, yeah, it's just reminding me so much of that scene, and I was like, whoa, holy crap, that's pretty cool, I guess. But, yeah, I did like the Penguin arc, in the Penguin story, I, I like the Penguin, he's a really interesting character. And I like how he's, he's working both ends of his own, he's working both ends of the deal. He's working for Maroney, and he's working for his own. But I feel like he's working for his own in general, he's not working for Maroney, he's pretending to work for Maroney. And I just like that idea. And it's really cool. So, yeah. Um, but I did like G Gordon. Um, Gordon, this episode, you know, he was okay. I liked him. You know, I like him as he is, his character and everything. And how, how I'm, him and Harvey Bullock just kind of split off towards the middle and try to figure out this whole mystery of how these, you know, who, who you know. It's just the whole, how the whole thing is unraveled and everything. I love that dynamic and stuff. So, yeah. Episode is really good, um, really well done, and yeah, really looking forward to next week's episode. Hopefully, Barbara Gordon will come back and not get back together with um, that one chick. I just hope she doesn't get back together with her. That'd just be bad. So yeah, um, Star Wars Rebels episode two will be on tonight. Gonna get that on there, and yeah, I'll let you guys know about that in next video. All right, guys, see you later. Come on.